So I was asked to make a how-to video for homecoming, and the first thing that came to my mind was a uh, spinning banana, of course. Because everybody knows the an infinitely spinning banana, and, uh, and Lord of the Homecoming. And if you don't believe me, observe Exhibit A. And now watch Exhibit A with the spinning banana. So if you want to make your own banana, you're going to want to, uh, you're going to, want to get a video of you spinning a banana in front of a green screen, or preferably just a banana spinning in front of a green screen. So um, as you can see, my fingers got caught in the video here. It's not good. But um, I'm going to show you how to get those out. I'm going to put the in right here because this is the first place where I can just cut my fingers out without cutting off part of the banana. And then I'm going to put the out right where the banana leaves the front. And now that I've done that, I'm going to set up the new sequence from the clip. Now, to get rid of the hand, I'm going to use the crop tool. Um, sometimes you might have to do something a little more advanced, but I'm going to go here. Uh, my fingers are on the right, so I'm going to use the right. Now that we have the banana alone in the frame spinning, we're going to copy it and paste. And here's where you're going to want to start paying attention. I'm going to zoom super far in and overlap the two so that I can use the tool to um, create a ghost banana in the background here. This makes it a lot easier for me to use the motion tab to click and drag the banana into place and use the scale tool to make it about the same size. So now that I've done that, it creates a little bit of a problem at the end of this second clip right here. Because right at the end, it's not the same as the beginning, so I can't copy and paste that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stopwatch up here to create keyframes. Then I'm going to go to the end and set them up to the uh, default values before I change them. Scale is usually uh, 100 unless you play with it, but position, uh, can often be different based on resolution and things like that. So now the beginning of my video will be the uh, same as the uh, end. Now I can be picky. So uh, say I don't like that the banana leaves the frame right here. So now what I can do is I can set the position a little bit higher. Now the banana is all the way in frame. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a title behind. And I'm gonna make it, uh, let's, let's do a big square. And I want it to be about the same color as that wall. So I'm gonna use green. Now it's not a perfect green screen, so this won't be ideal, but, or I mean, this won't be perfect, but um, now I'm going to go to the Ultra Key. Now I'm going to use the Ultra Key, and I'm going to use the dropper, and click. And I like the aggressive setting. Sometimes it'll mess with your banana. If you have a really good green screenshot, then uh, you shouldn't mess with your colors as much, because you won't have to use the aggressive, but uh, that's life. Now that I have my banana spinning in a frame with nothing but green, I'm going to use M, or Control M, to export it, and I'm going to call it Banana Banana Banana. And while you're exporting, make sure that you uh, click Import into Project, so that you can use it a lot easier on the same project. And uh, now I want the banana to appear right now. And uh, now that I'm here, I can use the Ultra key again. This time, the background is all the same color, so it shouldn't be a problem. Don't mess with my colors or anything. In fact, I could probably even set it to relax and look, looks nice. So um, now I'm going to use the motion tab and say I want the banana to be right there and I want it to be smaller. So now I have the banana in the spot that I want right here. And don't worry if it does it, it likes to do that. It won't actually appear like that in the uh, final video. As you can see, it's flashing at me. It doesn't like, it doesn't like doing a lot of complex tasks. So uh, I'm gonna Control C, move those up. Now I have a lot of banana, all in the same spot. And there you go, now you have a spinning banana. I'm just gonna stare at you. There's gonna be a spinning banana next to your head no matter what you do. 
That's amazing. Absolutely, positively amazing. Banana to this side of me, probably? I don't know. Oh look, there's a banana on her face now. Isn't probably. That spectacular? It's gonna be pretty spectacular. Very spectacular. Yeah. Okay.